Well, hello and welcome back. Thanks for coming back. Where are we? That's what you're wondering. Well, we're on an ascent into Paphos Airport. And the reason for this video is to show you from Paphos Airport to the Paphos Hotels Road, where most of the beachside hotels are. So if you want to know the route from Paphos Airport to the Paphos Hotels, get a Paphos area, this could be that special, special video for you. But you're saying to yourself, but you're going the wrong way. I am, because there's been some updates in and around the Paphos Airport. You now cannot actually drive past the departures and arrivals due to security and all those kind of things. So now you either have to go and park in a car park and dismount or go into the new area where they allow you to pick up and drop off. So don't click off just yet. That's what we're gonna show you. So just over yonder now, there's chaos, obviously, because there's big birds flying in and out of Paphos all of the time. Yes, even in the winter season, even on New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, there's a lots of people flying in and out of Paphos. So that's the long-term covered parking there to the right. If you keep going past the man with the yellow bib, you're gonna go into the short stay, and they're all directing us this way, as you may have noticed. There we are. And this is the new pick up and drop off point. You see, now and again, Marika and me do give you that useful little bit of information. And it looks like absolute chaos in there. So probably this video, we're gonna be stuck in the pick up and drop off area at Paphos Airport. But at least there's a nice view out towards the left hand side, out across the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea at twilight time, yes. And people are just driving around. They haven't got a clue, by the way, where they are or what they're doing because of course it's not very well signposted. Most people would assume that you can just drive straight to the pickup and the drop off, but you can't. They're worried about, well, you know what they're worried about. So they've now come up with this convoluted way of allowing us to drop you off and to pick you up. So don't be asking Mr. Paul to go and pick anyone up, not at this time of year, not for the next foreseeable future, because it's an absolute nightmare, as you may see. So we're going to circumnavigate and pick up and drop off. Although we're not picking anyone up or dropping anyone off. We're just showing you. Yeah, there you go. Right. On that note, if you like what you see, hit the like, click that subscribe. And don't forget to come back for a little bit more of my complete and utter madness in downtown Paphos. Hitting the like, by the way, doesn't cost you a single penny. By subscribing to the channel, again, doesn't cost you a single penny. All it does is tells YouTube that you like what you've seen and perhaps they should recommend it to more like-minded people like yourselves. If you want to keep the channel afloat and you want to make a contribution, how do you do it? Very, very simple indeed. All you do is hunt us down on the Buy Me A Coffee platform. Google these magic words, Marika and me, Buy Me A Coffee, up will come our landing page and you'll be given the opportunity to read all about us and of course, if you wish, you can choose to read some of the comments and the replies and of course you can gift us that virtual coffee or two. You can also choose to become one of our superstar members at only 10 euros a month. What do you get? Well, you get a special title, you get birthday shout outs, anniversary shout outs, I'll even call you a cat in if you want and of course you get yourself that little bit closer to Marika and me and on top of all of that you also get privilege card. The Marika and me privilege card will be coming very, very soon indeed, and that will give you an entitlement to discounts and all those kind of things in and around the Cade of Paphos Harbour and Promenade area. So don't forget to get your name on the list. Look at this, absolute chaos is what I'm going to say. This is a little car park to the side of the taxi rank, if you understand exactly where we are. But anyway, this is where you have to come to drop off and to pick off shall we say. So we're hopefully going to get out in about five minutes and continue on our trek and show you the route from Paphos Airport to downtown Cape Paphos and of course the Paphos chaos here. People walking with suitcases, the car trying to come out to my right so we'll let him come. There we are. I don't think anyone's in any big rush at the moment are we? No. Gridlock Paphos, there's the airport taxi office. If you want a taxi you come out of the main arrivals area, take a right and walk in the direction of the taxis obviously and there's their taxi office and they've got a drinks dispensing machine in there, what have they got in there? They've got Coca-Cola, 
they've got Dr. Brown coffee, but luckily there's none of that Pepsi stuff. No, Andrea, no Pepsi allowed in downtown Kedapathos Airport. Are we going to get out? Who knows? Stick with us. Fun and games on the little channel known as Marika and me. Drop it in the comments, by the way, if you're liking Marika's little addition to the channel. She's in downtown Tbilisi, Georgia, and now and again she dismounts and goes for a walk around and shows us something unusual. She almost got run over the other day, and, uh, well, there was fun and games in downtown Paphos. I mean, to be honest, in Paphos, they don't like to stop at zebra crossings. To be honest, who likes to stop at zebra crossings? Only Mr. Paul, because I don't like to run people over, because you never know, they could be superstar members of our little channel. Big shout out to some of the stars I like to watch now and again. Day Man, of course, Viscount Paul Butler. Big, big shout out to you and a very, very happy new year. Richard and Julie, Leo in downtown Wiltshire. And of course, their great mates and my mates, Sean Braun. A very, very happy new year to you. And Richard is going to be helping us with the brand new Marika and Me website. And of course, helping us to launch the Privilege Card. But as you can see, it is absolute chaos here. People just driving round and round and round, only for taxis. So we can't go that way. We have to go this way. And here's a chappy breaking the rules. He's taken a shortcut and come the wrong way. But hey, what's new? This is downtown Paphos. One ways don't mean nothing. Red lights, unfortunately, not a lot either. So please, please be very careful when you're driving around Paphos, in particular, if you're in Paphos Airport. Anyway, here we go. We're gonna get back and we're now going to show you the route from Paphos Airport to Cato Paphos and in particular all of the hotels on the coastal road or the hotels road as we call it. People are asking, can we get to the drop off? No, you can't. Get out of the way. You see, this is Paphos. And they'll all be saying to him, look, I know your father. Ah, oh, there we go. You see, I know your father. Let me in. These kind of things. Corruption in downtown Paphos. There we go. So all of these cars have driven around the same route as I have and now they're still desperately trying to get in to the drop-off area or the original drop-off area. But of course what they're doing is actually going to the short and long-term undercover or uncovered, sorry, car parking, which is just over there to the left, by the way. They will not let you go to the drop-off unless you are a coach or unless you are a taxi. Simple as that. Perhaps I should get a taxi sign. That's a good idea, isn't it? There we go. Gift us a coffee or two and I'll get one made up and some blue lights as well to get the traffic out of our ways. Why not? Anyway, we're en route. Paphos Airport to downtown Keda Paphos. So don't click off just yet. We're going to learn the route. And it's twilight zone. Mr. Paul's still got his sunglasses on because as everyone knows, Mr. Paul wears sunglasses whether it's day or night and a blue hat. And he's dressed head to toe in blue, especially for you. Anyway, stick with us. Here we go. We're going to get on to the main road that's going to take us on to the main old road to Paphos. Okay, you can actually go link up to the highway if you wish. In my opinion, I think it's slower and I think it's actually more dangerous because people are traveling that much faster. If I was you, I'd stick to the old road, which is the road we're going to take and we're going to slowly but surely descend into downtown Keto Paphos. So if you're coming on a big bird, going to want to know the route to Paphos, don't click off. This is that video especially for you. And please be very careful by the way, especially in this particular part of the route because there's a lot of frustrated people driving around who really believe that if they put their foot down they're going to get there that much faster and of course they're not. The car that just overtook us, where's it got him? Nowhere. And he could have hit that pickup head on which was trying to join the road. So please, please, on this particular stretch of road, be very, very aware of what's behind you and what's coming towards you. Not necessarily on your side of the road or their side of the road, if you get the meaning. Coming up next is the army base, by the way. There's an army base coming up on the left-hand side. And, uh, well, if you're a naughty boy, guess what? They're going to catch you. They're going to beat you. They may even shoot you. wonder what Misachi Wasila booth is up in downtown Tbilisi. A lot of pontificating going on down there, by the way. I speak to her every night and I say, what have you done and what have you been doing? And she goes, oh, well, you know, I've been doing this and I've been doing that. And to be honest, you've been doing bugger all, apart from hanging out and chatting with a mum and, of course, I'm dying. <coughs> dying of laughter here and, of course, chatting to her auntie Nelly. And, 
course, the baby in the booth, Ella is with them as well, so there you go. A gaggle of girls chatting about life and putting the world to rights and wondering what Mr. Paul is up to. This is the army base coming up on the left hand side. You never know, if you're naughty, they could be waiting just for you. This is the final straight, which will take us to the village of Timmy, by the way. If you go to the right, you would head out towards Secret Valley, Aphrodite's Hill, and on towards Limassol area, Pursuri before that, obviously. But anyway, you get the idea. We are going to take a left, and we're going to enter Timmy Village, and slowly but surely, we will start our ascent down towards Cato Papros and the Cato Papros Hotels. So, like I've said, if you're going to hire a car, or perhaps you're coming on a bus, or perhaps you're walking it, who knows? This could be the route, especially for you. And it's night time, because it goes dark quite early. We've had the winter solace day, so the lights are slowly starting to come back on in the days, aren't they? Every day, I think it's just under a minute or so. So in another month or so, it'll be light till around about six o'clock. It's now just gone after five. And as you can see, it's well, almost pitch black in downtown Paphos. One of these days, they'll remember to put the street lights on. These are all the big Kayahar companies. Kayahar companies, I'm using my English, hire car companies. That's where all the hire cars are stored, and if you're going to get one from the airport, that's where they'll be picking it up from and dropping it off in the airport, especially for you. Blue lights flashing up ahead. There could be some barrows waiting just for me, you never know. Just checking, is my car tax and short MOT? Yes, it is. Is it my car? Yes, don't worry, I haven't stolen this one. So here we go, we're coming to the T-junction. Like I say, if you go to the right, you will head in the direction of Secret Valley, Aphrodite's Hills, Pursuri and Limassol. But we're gonna to go to the left and head towards Paphos. And I believe it's around about 12-ish kilometers, somewhere around there. So it'll take us another 10 minutes or so. So it's quite a long one. You've got to put up with Mr. Paul talking a little rubbish for a while. There you go, only 10 kilometers. So with English money, six miles. So let's get going. Bit of information for you behind this restaurant over here on the right hand side on a Sunday is Timmy Market. So perhaps if you're looking for somewhere to waste a couple of hours and perhaps spend a couple of bob, that could be that special market for you, Timmy Market. And in the summer, it's pretty busy and there's an awful lot of stalls. In the winter, where they're depending, and you know, if it's a bit chopsy mopsy, a bit cold, most of the locals don't like to come out. So of course, lots of the stall holders don't come out either. Now, there's a bit of information for you. If you want the bus from the airport, there it is, 612, see? And runs approximately every 20 to 30 minutes. I'm sure our superstar in downtown Middlefart, the Viking known as Ronnie, will drop it in the comments. Is that the correct bus, 612? I think it is, and it's one euro fifty each way, and I think it goes every 20 to 30 minutes. Viking Ronnie, over to you. I'm sure there'll be a comment coming very, very soon indeed. Let's keep going. We're on the final ascent towards downtown Kedo Paphos. And this road is straight all the way for around about eight, nine kilometers now, five miles or so. When we get to a roundabout, we're gonna take a left down to the purpose-built dual carriageway that takes us down towards Rikos Beach and Kato Paphos, and that allows us to bypass Yeroskipu and Paphos town. Because why would you wanna get yourself stuck in traffic? Exactly, we're in enough traffic as it is, stuck behind a bus. But on these roads, again, I warn you, be very, very careful. Do not be tempted to boot it because there are little camera vans parked up now and again, day and night. And of course, the boys and girls in blue are waiting for you as well. We all understand that people overtake us and for some reason they get lucky and don't get caught. But more often than not, when you and I do it, they'll be waiting for us and we'll get an infringement on our credit card. We'll have to go on the internet and pay it. So don't do it, stick to the speed limit. Speed limit along here is 65 kilometers. That says 50, so there you go. Stick to 60, 65, and you won't be going far wrong. And always get your seatbelt on, and try not to talk on your mobile phone, because they don't like that either. But if they do catch you on a mobile phone, drop it quickly and salute them and say sorry, and normally they'll let you off. It's the speeding bit they really, really don't like. Okay, so be warned, especially on this trek. 
course they're looking for foreigners and tourists just like you and me because wow we're easy picking aren't we simple as that so let's descend nice and legally and nice and slowly on our trek to Paphos what's it say now eight kilometers so about four and a half miles so you haven't got to put up with me for that much longer this is the 50 so we'll drop down to 60 they're quite generous 20% thereabouts so in a 50 you can do 60 in a 65 you can do what I don't know 80 or thereabouts isn't it? on the highway the limit is 100 kilometers an hour so they'll allow you at 120 so try carefully and you won't go far wrong shall we say in downtown Panafos but the police to be fair are absolute stars they really really are they really really don't want to stop here so you know, take your foot off and uh, treat them with respect and they'll treat you with respect by the way they're not going to go and strip search you by the road. Well, you never know. You might get lucky one of these days. Now, this is downtown Alechia. I know my pronunciation is Sherlock Holmes. In other words, S-H-I-T. But that's how I say it. Alechia. So, stick with us. Not long. The roundabout's going to come up. And we are going to take a left. And proceed down the dual carriageway to downtown Kedapathos. So, this is that video for you. If you're coming in a car or on foot or on a bus and you're going to get off at Big Bird in Paphos Airport and you're wondering the route to downtown Kenna Paphos, perhaps that hotel that you're staying in, maybe the Olympia Lagoon Resort, who knows, could be the Amavi, could be the Alexander the Great, but one of those hotels is certainly waiting especially for you. And don't forget to keep the channel afloat by supporting us, we ask you kindly it doesn't cost a lot, one coffee is only five euros and of course that will keep these videos coming especially for you. And we do appreciate and thank each and every one that takes the trouble to hunt us down on the Buy Me A Coffee platform, Marika and me, and of course gifts us those virtual coffees. There's many, many superstars out there. If your name's Norma and you've got a man called Albert and you're from downtown in Hungary, thank you very, very much indeed. Sir John Ricey, thank you very, very much indeed. Dayman, thank you very, very much. Lady Kirstein, thank you. The list goes on and on, and we do appreciate it very, very much indeed. And of course, we'll look forward to seeing you all again very, very soon indeed. There's something special about Paphos, you know, just as the sunset goes down, and of course, as the lights come on, and it still creates this lovely golden glow in the blueness of that blue blue sky and it glistens across the blue 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 Mediterranean Sea. Yes, Mr. Paul's dressed head to toe in blue. Always is and always will be. It's part of the channel. Blue hat, black sunglasses, dressed head to toe in blue. If you want to check the socks and the underwear, please feel free. Here we go. We're on the purpose built dual carriageway. Well, this is single, but at the next roundabout, it becomes a dual carriageway. And again, do not be tempted to speed because they really, really are waiting on these sections of the road. They understand that people are in a hurry and they understand there's a lot of foreigners and tourists not aware of the speed limits so that's how they get you. So please, please drive carefully and slowly and courteously, even though many of us locals don't. We're too busy making YouTube videos, eating kebabs and having a hot latte or perhaps tonking on a Romeo and Juliet, especially for Sir Martin. Lady Victoria, of course, our man Bernie and his girl Lady Jan, and of course, with Derek Scully and his Lamouth in downtown Dublin. Now, I'm doing 65 kilometres an hour, and I've got a Mercedes stuck right up my chuff, so I think we'll go a little bit slower just to frustrate him that little bit more. And of course, you can feast your eyes and digest the view out across the treetops into the blueness of the blue, 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 blue. Mediterranean Sea. Oh, he's getting very frustrated now. We might even go a bit slower if he would like. Ooh, it's a 50 coming up. What speed should we go into the 50 at? Let's drop down to 40, shall we? There we go. And then he can show us his driving skills by going around the outside. Downtown Kedapathos is coming up, especially for you, I promise you. So don't click off just yet. We're now going to go on to a dual carriageway and again I warn you now there are many laybys along this section of the road where the boys and the girls in blue 
sit and they wait just for you. So drive carefully. Along here, most of it is 65, although it does dip and drop a little bit. So travel along here at around about 65-ish kilometers all the way and you won't go far wrong, shall we say. Although this gentleman seems to think that he's much cleverer than us. There we go. Let's hope that they are waiting at the next little lay-by. Let's hope. They never are though, are they? No, unfortunately not. Anyway, don't click off just yet. I promise you, coming up very, very soon indeed, we are going to take a left and go down to Kedipapos and you're going to start to see some of the hotels and of course you will know the route. And it's quite a simple route, very, very simple indeed to be honest, as long as you stick to the legalities of the law, isn't it? Which a lot of people don't seem to want to. Although most people on this road do because obviously they've been caught once or twice, shall we say. Once you've been caught a couple of times, you tend to remember, don't you? That little infringement on your credit card. If you take a left here, you go down to Rickos Beach, by the way. And of course you get a great, great view. And even at this time of year, if you're brave, you can go swimming. But we're going to continue because as promised, I'm going to show you some of the hotels on the Hotels Road in downtown Keto Paphos. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for watching us. And I apologise for the congestion in and around Keto Paphos Airport. It's very common in airports, isn't it? They try to control us, shall we say. They don't want us doing some naughty things and spending too long picking up and dropping off. They want us to go into the car parks, don't they? Why? They want to make some money out of us. Of course they do. And of course, you can't blame them, shall we say. Now, we're going to take a left and we're going to start our ascent onto downtown Cato Paphos, Pasadonis Avenue, to give it its correct name. We're going to call it Hotels Road because this is where all the beachside hotels hang out. And the first hotel that comes up is going to be the Louis Fighter Beach Hotel. So perhaps if you got a wedding there last year and your name's Lady Anna Marie, oh yeah, and Sir Michael, and of course the family came and the Princess Kylie was there as well. A very, very happy New Year to you. Of course, Kylie, our birthday is coming soon. I can't quite remember when the day was. I'm sure you'll drop it in the comments. And of course, we know you're coming back to Paphos in the summer. And we're looking forward to seeing you. We really, really are. There's some Christmas lights for you. Brings a bit of Christmas spirit and New Year's fun, shall we say. Now, the hotels are coming up, so don't click off just yet. Louis Fighton Beach Hotel in all of its glory, waiting especially for you. This is the Hotels Road. If you're looking for a beachside hotel in downtown Paphos, it's on this road. And there's quite a few of them, that's for sure. I'm gonna say thanks for watching. If you like what you see, hit the like, click that subscribe, and don't forget to come back for a little bit more of my complete and utter madness. We'll finish with that for review. Christmas lights in downtown Paphos. Thanks for watching and see you again very, very soon indeed.